So today we are heading to a cave that is in the Cayo district in Mountain Pine Ridge. So go ahead and tag along with us. It's a beautiful day. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's our second time at this cave. I want to share this with you guys because it's off the beaten path. So come on, take a ride with us. Let's go check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hi. So today we are out at Mountain Pine Ridge. We're headed towards Rio Frio Cave. This is one of the smaller caves that's off the road as you're heading towards the bigger cave. We're probably about 20 miles back in the jungle right now. Uh, this cave is off the beaten path. There's not a lot of people that go out here. We've been out here one other time and there was nobody else out here. So it's really interesting to come out here to explore these caves because as you can see behind me, these caves, they are deep. And there's so many different caverns in them. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around one more time so you can kind of get an idea. And like I said, this isn't even a, one of the big caves. This is actually one of the smaller ones, but it just, even this thing is incredible. As you can see, that's the top of the ridge. You can see the car, the road up there. You kind of walk down here and you'll get this wall. And then you can just look down. It's pretty much a straight drop. I don't know what that leads to, but I'm not going in it. <laughs> so yeah, it's Rio Frio Cave out in Mountain Pine Ridge. If you're in the Cayo area, you want to do something off the beaten path where there's not a lot of people, I would definitely recommend it. I'm going to zoom in. There's something here on the edge. It has a bunch of like, little wasp looking things or something. I don't know if you can see them all flying around that. That is crazy. There's some kind of little wasp nest. And there's another one up here. I'm not sure what that is right there. Yeah, look at this hole down here. So Rio Frio Cave, if you guys are ever, like I said, in the Cayo District, want to check out something interesting, something new, this is definitely a great spot to come out here and uh, check out some caves. So go ahead, come with us. We're going to go to the larger cave and uh, see what it's got in store. Alright guys, so we got here to Rio Frio Cave. I'm going to kind of show you behind me. That's the road that's coming in. It's uh, It can get kind of muddy and kind of narrow, but we make it in with a front wheel drive car. Uh, I just wouldn't come back here without a four wheel drive if it had been really raining recently. I'm going to turn the camera around, kind of give you a better idea. So that's the way in to Rio Frio Cave right there. That's the road. You see there's a parking area right here. And then the cave itself is going to be down this way. So you got a parking area right off to the right, right here. That's where you want to park. 
Let's go ahead and take a walk down here. It's really not too bad of a walk from the uh, parking area that they give you. Plus, there's a walkway right here. A little bit of information on Rio Frio. Open from 7 to 4.30. Like I said, this is the second time that I've been out here. There's never anybody out here. I haven't seen one person. I haven't seen anybody who works for, you know, uh, the parks department or anything like that it's always been empty which is another reason why we love to get off the beaten path so you can kind of see some of the really cool stuff without dealing with a bunch of people all right so they, they do have a couple picnic areas up in here which is nice so when we found this place we found it by accident. We were just driving around because we like to get lost off of dirt roads and just kind of see exactly what's going on. But you can see they do have areas where you can eat lunch. They have some more information here on safety, regulations, a map. And they also have up here towards the top they have restrooms up there and of course huge trees for you to look at all right so we are we are headed to the cave right now go ahead and take a short walk with us Let's see where this leads us. Now there is a walkway, which is nice the entire way down here. So it's not like you're walking in mud the entire way. Definitely you're going to want some kind of bug repellent, which we forgot again. <laughs> it's not as bad today. Yeah, it's definitely not as bad today, but there are but mosquitoes cool out here. Yeah, it's definitely cooler out. We're in October. The, so it is definitely cooler out here there is a stream that runs down here it's crystal clear it kind of reminds me of being back in the states it's freezing though yeah this water is cold hence the name rio frio, <laughs> rio frio. <laughs> but you can see there's a stream that runs through this cave and out here to the other side. Last time we were here, we saw an otter. You can see how clear the water is. And this pathway will take you all the way up to the opening of the cave. I gotta show you guys this, this is so cool. This to me, never gets old when you want to talk about just how small we are in this world just so those steps right there they lead to the inside of the cave like i said you can pretty much explore every part of this cave around here <laughs> you can explore just about everything let me tell you what lovelies man it's it's just wild to be able to do this with nobody around. So it's got a sandy area down here that comes down here to the water. You see this water is clear. You can hear the water running out of the cave. But I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. So that is the opening to the cave. But this is the cliff wall. That leads all the way up to the top of this cave. You can see how massive this cave is. Just to give you an idea how big this cave opening is, I'm maybe 30 yards away from the opening. Look at that. 
a huge, huge cave. Let's go see what's inside. Look at these mushrooms that are on a log right outside. All right, so we're gonna come back up here. Get on these steps and go take a look at the inside of the cave. They did a really good job with these steps. Even got a chain that you can hold on to. And just keep coming up. There she is exploring. That's why I married her. She loves the simple things in life. Alright, so we keep coming up here. And we see what the sign says. Enter cautiously. I gotta tell you, coming into something like this, when there's nobody up here, it's absolutely amazing as you can see once again like I said the face it just goes all the way up gonna continue a little bit further in here look at this Got the water running down there. That's where the stream actually runs through the cave. How cool is it to be able to walk all the way up in this cave? Like I said, when you want to talk about feeling little, feeling small, this will absolutely make you feel that way. Here's starting to look on the outside. One of the areas that we found last time we were here, which is really cool. It's a little sandy beach area down here. It takes a little bit to get to. Look at that. I gotta tell you, this camera is picking up a lot of light because what I'm looking at, it's almost dark. This camera is picking up a lot of light in here, which is good. So there's an exit to the cave right there. How cool is that? You know, the camera don't, it really doesn't even do this any kind of justice. I can't tell you how large that that opening right there actually is. It may look small on film, but it is not small at all. Here's some more of the inside. Look at that. Some of the ceiling. Back out to the opening. All right, All right guys, there's the running water again. There's a pool right there. And like I said, the opening of the cave where the stream comes through. Right now we're gonna walk down to the bottom. Probably be good to bring a little flashlight with you too. I gotta tell you, this is a little bit dark down through here.
so worth getting down here to the bottom. So this is that sandy little area that I showed you from the top. And you get down in here. Look at that. Look how big this place is. We're down here on the bottom now, so you can only see a small part of the other part of the cave. You know, it makes me wonder when I'm down here. You know, my wife is up there somewhere. Let's see if we can find her. There she is, <laughs> way up there. So yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea just how big this cave is, but one of the things I like about coming into places like this is this cave is one of the, it's one of the cleanest places that I've been in Belize as far as not having any garbage or anything. But this also makes me just, you know, want to take a step back in time and Think about who, who might have been here thousands of years ago, depending on whatever this cave had to offer. You can see it's just, it said, this is one of those hidden gems that's going to take you a while to get to. But it is worth every second of actually exploring this cave. Bring a lunch out here. Bring a breakfast. Bring a friend. Just relax for the day. Look at that. There she is again, exploring. Uh. So yeah, Rio Frio Cave and Kyle I feel like a kid again. You know, it's coming to places like this that make me feel young again and put that smile back on my face. Makes me forget all the troubles in the world and just be happy to be alive again. Get out and explore. Life is short. You know, I turned 50 this month and looking back now, and I thought I knew everything when I was 30. I didn't know nothing. And I really thought I knew everything when I was 40. I still didn't know anything. I'm coming up on 50. What I can tell you now is looking back, I've learned every day that I've been alive that time goes by so fast. Time just goes by. Get out there, start living, enjoy it. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. This is at the mouth of the cave. So I had to walk all the way back up from there just to come find Catherine again. <laughs> you having fun? Yes. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. So there's the back of the cave back there behind us. It is. Like I said, the camera just isn't doing this any kind of anything. That opening back there is absolutely enormous. And 
like I said, this is one of those places in Belize that's off the beaten path. If you want to feel small again and realize just how ig uh, insignificant that you really are in this world, how little you are, visit Rio Frio Cave in Belize, Mount Pine Ridge, Cayo District. more time there's the inside stream and this is the way to get back out you just follow the same path when you came in and you just find the same path you were on I said it's dry today, but I'm sure after it's rained, the water levels up a little bit more, and these rocks are probably going to be a little bit more slippery. And here's some more information on the cave. So the Maya believe that, that caves, as well as standing bodies of water, were entrances to the underworld known as. Ooh, Exalba. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video of Rio Frio Cave. I know we had a blast. Like I said, this is our second time coming out here. We really enjoy coming out here. Once again, there is nobody out here, so it's just us. It's beautiful like this. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, nice to not have anybody out here. But yeah, this cave will definitely make you feel small again in the world and like i said it's off the beaten path it's out in uh it's between the beginning of mountain pine ridge and caracal so it's about halfway in it's about 18 miles in on the main highway in mountain pine ridge so thanks for watching guys we got lots more videos coming out for you belize is a great great place to vacation it's a great place to live if you really get off the beaten path, you're going to find so many hidden gems in this country. Thanks for watching. If you like the content in this video and you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share it with your friends. We appreciate it. We do. We do. Thanks Bye, for watching, guys. everybody. Bye. If you look over there, 
I found the local native girl wandering through the jungles of the Amazon by herself. Not a smart thing to do. She must be looking for her mate. Nope. Do you see how she is oblivious to everything that's going on around her? Yes. Easy target. Don't be this person. <laughs> this is why you should never step in a muddy area. <laughs> oh my gosh.